Yo! What's up everybody, Fortnitron here, and today we are back again with our remastered Elden Ring Easy Mode Beginner's Guide, which also will include the brand new Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. In the previous episode, we went through Atlas Plateau and we got a ton of flask upgrades. We also went and got our plus six somber smoothing stone, so now we have a plus six Bloodhound's Fang, which is going to completely crush uh yeah and now we're ready to move on to our next main story boss let's get into it okay in the previous episode you should have done your homework assignment and you went back to uh weeping peninsula and then you took out uh the mini boss there and then you also went in Lyernia and took out the mini boss at the minor ur tree here and you get a few uh mixed physic tears for doing that and this one's really helpful, the opaline bubble tier, but it just it just makes you invincible for one hit. So I don't really find it worth it. I still think the spike crack tier and the strength not crystal tier are still the two best for our build at the moment. But you also got yourself a little bit of runes and yeah, so good stuff. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're actually gonna make our way back to Rail Acaria. So we're gonna go back to main academy gate. And we're just going to go through uh, this next main story boss. So this is the second um, main boss that you're supposed to go through in the story. And we are going to dunk on them. For those of you who don't know, the character that I kind of modeled mine after very loosely is Godwin the Golden. Uh, so he is the first demigod that was killed in the lands between. And there's a lot of lore about him. Roll through these bitches. Yeah, they don't stand a chance against the plus six Bloodhound's Fang. Here's just to show you where, kind of where we're at with our character here. So if we go back here, there's a somber stone three here. So that just shows you the kind of materials that are here. All right, let's grab the side of grace. I just want to set some expectations with Rhea Lucaria. It's a really cool classic dungeon. We're going to be running through a lot of it. So I would highly recommend in your own time, just go through and explore Rhea Lucaria, but we are just going to run through a lot of it. So we're just going to run down this path here, go across this bridge, manage your stamina this whole time. Watch out for the dog ahead. Just hug the right, get your stamina back. We're gonna go off the path here, walk off the edge. And here's a great armor set here. Darian Knight set. We're gonna keep running. We're gonna turn left up here, roll off the edge. I can't believe that guy fucking just got me there. I never get caught by that guy, so that is fucking crazy. The dogs are running behind me. Okay, see ya. <laughs> okay, run off this edge. And we are gonna go over here. Get this side of gray, sit down. Okay, we're going to take out a bunch of these dudes. Let's take out all these guys. There is a pot boy over here. Let's just give him some L2 and then an R2 
That should be enough. This guy's gonna come down. He wants a piece. We're gonna go back around and we're gonna grab this chest that's right here. Another dude coming down the stairs, I think. Just run up the stairs, immediately turn right. Go over here and quit your game out behind this pillar. Okay, so now everything is reset aggro. Um, this is like a mini boss. It can be a pain in the bitch. So I would save scum right here. Definitely save scum. Um, it's really nimbly bimbly. It's kind of like a big animal boss. Um, we're going to just try to get a jump R2 and then use our L2 R2 and then maybe get a charge R2 if we can. Um, hopefully with our weapon the way that it is, we should have no problem with it, but it does jump around a lot. It has a projectile attack, so it does do homing soul mass, which is like it'll have three projectiles around it and then they home in and shoot you. So when you see it summon the three projectiles, just be ready to dodge at the last second or just, or just kind of strafe it and then dodge. Um, I'll make a safe scum right here so we can go over the boss. Okay, so we can kind of see it through the see through there, um, but let's go for it. So we're just gonna buff up. Do enter weapon. Let's crack a gold foul foot. Okay, pound town. Remember, let's try to get a jump R2 right off the rip. Okay, L2, R2. Get stamina back. Roll that attack. Do an L2. Easy. Nice. Got 21 Gs from him. Like I said, with this weapon, you should not have that much trouble with that boss. But I will save scum and then I will go over that boss for you. Okay, so we're just gonna go in. I'm gonna show you kind of what to expect from the boss. So we'll go over its moveset. So it does this. So here's one where it summons three projectiles and you wanna be able to roll that like I didn't. So it does this sword thingy, roll at the last second. It might do it again. Roll at the last second, roll again. That was a good roll catch that it got me with. Just roll, roll. Just, just stay nimbly. Just watch, just watch your stamina, and then kind of strafe around it. Oh, that caught me because I rolled a little too late. That's a weird one. Hey, okay, remember? So just roll at the last second. So that's meant to overwhelm you because like he will do like the projectile attack and then a delayed attack. So you're like, oh, there's a lot going on. But again, like we're so overpowered, you should have no trouble with this boss. Okay, so hope that explained the boss's movesets enough for you, uh, but you should prevail with just like a charge R2 and then even just like, like look how much damage my L2 and R2 did, our, our Ash of War for this weapon did. Just like crush that boss. All right, so now that we're back to our main save file here, let's use these runes and level up. I kind of want to get to 15 faith without having to rely on Godric's great rune, but we'll save it. So let's get 20 vigor and then the rest in faith. 
Okay, now I'm gonna show you one of the most unfair runbacks. So you'll notice there aren't any stakes of America in Rhea Lucaria, and it's because uh, the leader of the Rhea Lucaria school, uh, which is Princess Renala or Queen Renala, um, her and America did not get along. And there's a whole lore behind it. So Renala married this guy named Radagon, who's a main character in the game. And then Radagon left Renala and then married Queen Merica after she kicked out Godfrey and sent him back beyond the lands between. So we just ran past all this crap and then we got the golden seed. That fucking that thing can hit us from there. And then this ball is going to drop down. Just go over here, roll. Usually you can run past it. Okay, and then up here is one of the most bullshit enemies ever. <laughs> it's a carrion knight. He will parry your ass. So just do jump R2s. Do jump R2s. Don't do... Don't do, like, charge R2s. He will fucking parry you and kill you in one hit. Easy. If you do an L2 on him, he'll parry that too. So don't fuck around. Um, you could just go back to the schoolhouse classroom. If you've used up a bunch of your flasks, I haven't. So I'm just going to go towards the boss because this boss is easy. We just top up our health. Make sure we got the, and I still have the gold scarab on. Give me a break, dude. Okay, so this boss is like a puzzle boss. The first phase, there's all of these little NPCs on the ground and some of them will have like a gold aura around them. You kill the ones with the gold aura, you have to kill three. Then the boss will come down and you can get some hits off on it. It'll just lay there and let you hit it, um, which will be super, super, super easy. We don't need a buff until after we're ready to do our last hit on the boss in that phase. And then it'll go to the real true phase of the boss. So I'm going to make a save scum right here so we can go over this boss fight. Okay, so now I got the save scum. Uh, we're just going to go in there. And then remember, we'll use our gold foul foot in between phases. So we're just going to run in. Cutscene's going to initiate. And then after that, we just kill the NPCs with the gold aura on them. Okay, hey, cool cutscene. All right, so you'll have RNG, but see, it's these ones we got to get rid of. So just run around looking for the ones with the gold aura. Sometimes they're hiding behind bookshelves. Okay, and then now let's do a gold foul foot. Okay, let's give her some L1 or L2, R2. Give her a charged R2. Another R1 and R1. Okay, buff up. Very cool cutscene. Immediately start running towards her. Roll at the last second. Do a charged R2. Give her an L1. She'll dodge. Get your stamina back. Roll. Let's do an L1. R2. Okay, this sucks. Get the lock on back on her. Do a jump R2, an R1, and then flip. Oh Easy mode. Weave thy Great boss arena too. Okay. I've got 62 Gs for that. All right, cool stuff. Now this boss, she is it's like kind of like a demigod but she's not really uh and her great rune is just the great rune of rebirth and that's how you can respect your character in this game so there isn't like a great rune that we can equip um this is just where we go to respect our character whenever you want to do that
Okay, let's light the set of grace here, and then I'm gonna go over that boss's move sets with you. So let's. Okay, so let's really go into detail about this boss's move set. Phase one is like a non-phase, like she doesn't really do anything. You just gotta kill those stupid little NPCs that have the aura around them. So like this is literally phase one. You just literally kill the ones with the aura around them. Sometimes you luck out and then they're right beside you. And sometimes like this, they're behind a fucking bookshelf, which is kind of annoying. And then when she lands on the ground, just lay the pound town on her. Take your sippy. So this is the real boss fight. So like I said, when she does this, Comet Azura just run up and then roll at the last second. You're gonna get some hits off. She's gonna do a few attacks. So she does this where she summons this slow moving projectiles. She also does that where she throws her wand at you. This one, they just kind of shoot at you and you can just roll sideways. Remember, just strafe. Try not to get too much distance or she'll do a lot of sorceries. Just always keep your stamina high so you can roll away at the last second. This is a cool sorcery that she does. So you have to get close to this moon for it to trigger. I thought it like it delays for a second there. All right. And you don't want to get hit by common Azure. And she also has the ability to do summons. You gotta hit her once. So a lot of these you can just like roll at the last second. I hate this sorcery because it just like... There we go. I think if you just run away enough. Okay, let's hit her. So it's around half halfway. She starts summoning shit. So she could summon like a dragon. This is probably the worst summon that you can get. Uh, she also summons uh, the Bloodhound Fang uh, mini boss. They also only take one hit, I think. The summons. There's the Bloodhound's Fang guy. Joseph summons dogs too, which really sucks. And it's funny because it's the dogs that uh, Ronnie the Witch gives you. Nice. So that's why you don't want to like get too far away from her. You want to keep the pressure on Renala and then you'll have no trouble just fucking dunking on her. All right, cool. So now that I've shown you how to do Renala, like again, if you just keep the pressure on like I was saying, stay up close like you should have no trouble just like taking her out but you fuck around too much and you get too much distance she can just spam sorcerers at you spam the npcs but if you just stay close and then just like keep getting hits you'll do so much damage and you'll just knock her out right away like we did um let's use her money and spend the stuff so we're gonna level up remember let's get to 15 faith that's perfect and then let's put the rest in decks we only need 16 G's. My sweetings. And she also gave us a remembrance. So remember, you can look at it and then read her lore there. Uh, don't worry, too. There's places in the games. It's those big mausoleums that are on legs, like big stone legs. If you break the little scabby things in the bottom of their legs, they'll come down and you can duplicate these remembrances so if you ever want to go back and then buy their items you can do that but we're not going to we're going to use the runes that they give us that's 20 g's right there one more dex and we just need 16 more i'm sure we got money for that Come out from 
That's five. I think we only need to pop one of these smaller ones. Yeah, so that's kind of like the lore behind it. Like after Radagon left Renala, she's just left. She's kind of crazy now. She like just completely had a meltdown and she's a broken person. And the Renala that we fought was just a spirit summon from Ronnie the Witch. Yeah, let's use these two. That should be enough. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to round table hold. And when we go up here now and talk to this lady, we'll get another pouch. Only find you have now to become the thing as now become. I think now when we talk to her, yes, now we can receive equipment from champions and we can buy Renala's armor set if you want to. But yeah, and you can also get more lore about Queen Merica. So yeah, the fingers, you'll learn more about them in the DLC, which is cool. Okay, now we've done quite a bit and we got a third pouch so we can put our Radagon Source Seal on, have our Axe Talisman and then now our Claw Mark Talisman as well. Uh, so that way it enhances our jump attacks. But Homework assignment for before the next episode. This is what I would like you to do. I want you. You're going to go to this spot right here. So from this converted tower, you can go all the way down this trail and then you're going to go to this spot right here and there's an ever jail that you can unlock. And then I would like you to. And then after that, I want you to go to the Ravine Veiled Village, and then you're going to go up a bunch of ladders, and then there's going to be a boss at the end, and I want you to do that boss that's at the end. So have fun with that homework assignment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. <gasps>